Okay, this is where the motor is in. We're going to take it out. So essentially we're pulling these wires through and we'll take it, sorry, and we'll take it out of the inner spindle. And so you have this portion and you have that portion. And essentially what you're going to end up doing is putting this back up into here and that kind of locks in with the wire. So the wire will guide through that, those two, those two prongs up through there. So we put this in and I just have a screwdriver with some double stick tape on there. The two tangs on here will go towards the face right here like this. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm not going to do that first though, but that's how it goes. Feed the wire in first. So I kind of bend the connector a little bit, or bend the wire at the connector a little bit. And push those in. Okay. And that's, and then obviously it goes like this. This goes in and kind of cuts around the wires. Push that in. should come out like this over on this side with the two with the wires coming out and the tab in the inside so I kind of hold that this is not easy and the wire goes in through this way this is where you want the the plastic part to to face up together and you just pull that down kind of push that in a little bit and pull it down I got it. Okay. Push it down a little bit more. Okay. Push it down and kind of slide the motor over. Until the motor snaps in at that bottom portion. Kind of push on the plastic. And then it should rotate back and forth rather easily. Okay, and it's back down to the same height, the, the sleeves right there. So that's, that's essentially how you do that. And all I used was a screwdriver with a little bit of double stick tape, a little small file, and just kind of pushed it in and then guided it back down through.